In this video I'm going to explain the process for removing and replacing the grommet on the electric aerial on the back of a Mercedes 560SEC W126. These grommets quite commonly deteriorate and fail. When they do they let water into the boot area. These cars can be quite prone to rust so anything which is letting water into the boot area is a bad idea. They're really simple to change so if yours is deteriorated it's a good idea to get on and change it. The first thing we need to do inside the boot area is to remove the lights. These are removed by rotating the two clips and lifting them out. The carpet on the side is then removed by extracting the centre from the clips as shown in this photograph. The outside part of the clip will then pull out. The top part of the carpet is held in place with two clips which just pull down from where they held the carpet in place. They latch along the top edge of the boot underneath the trim. This photo shows the clip in the orientation it is when it's in the car. The carpet can then be removed. To remove the antenna, just undo the screw shown in this photograph and pull it back through the grommet. The grommet can then be removed. This is what my grommet looked like when it had been removed from the car. During the removal process a few more parts fell off it. It's clearly very brittle and well past its best before date. Clean up the area around the top of the wing where the new grommet is going to fit in, then push it in from the top. I pushed mine in using a trim removal tool. Use something soft, plastic, don't use anything metal or you're likely to scratch the wing. I then cleaned up the area in the boot floor whilst this is available. It's also well worth checking the drain holes whilst in here to make sure that any water that's in there will drain away. The antenna can then be refitted. I put a tiny bit of grease onto it just to help it push through the grommet, then it just pushes back into place. The screw can then be replaced and the carpet put back into place along with the lights. The whole process is very quick and easy and in my opinion is well worth doing anything to avoid getting water into the boot area of a W126.